although she's very successful in her career, um, she has the ability to be self-sufficient. Yes. But the main thing is the main thing, and that's the thing that she can't seem to grasp. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because she can be, she's everything she needs to be in the boardroom, but in the bedroom, she kind of kind of straddles the fence a little bit and mm-hmm. just confused um you know because her background in which i didn't really elaborate in the story about her background but she um she came from the hood mm-hmm. and she, that's all she knows mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. she's used to bad boys mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's what that's what turns her on mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. you know as a result of um some of the de- decisions that she's made and it has a lot to do with where she came from um i think a lot of women can really relate to the story yeah yeah i i hope heartedly agree um, that it's something that certainly um, a lot of women can relate to but uh, also it's really being courageous enough as you have been to tackle Mm -hmm. these issues yeah okay because that that's the issue that's That's the part that I really really love because you're going straight at it head on tackling this issue uh, as it relates to sexuality, you know, how women should handle themselves or not. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that, I think, too, is something that women can relate to. Yes, and I think it's very important because at the end of the day, we are human. Mm -hmm. We make mistakes. Some of the choices that we make, I I can't say that enough, Mm -hmm. that we we, we resent them, but we have to own them. Mm -hmm. We have to push past them. Mm -hmm. We have to accept them and move on and allow ourselves to be forgiven, Mm -hmm. even though a lot of times our family and friends are the ones that hold it over us forever. Mm -hmm. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, the uh, the married woman that may have had a child out of wedlock, the child is 40 and they're still saying, you know she had that baby, the child Mm -hmm. 40. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Let Mm -hmm. it go. And um, So I just want them to understand that we are human, we make mistakes, and Mm -hmm. if the fact that we're doing it our way, I'm I'm, I'm talking about single mothers now, Mm -hmm. because um, as a single mother, we aren't afforded the benefits that a married woman would have Mm -hmm. because a we did it our way it wasn't according to the way it was intended marriage then the children and so Mm -hmm. forth and so on but we have to take responsibility for that Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. I feel like as a single mother I have two children that I've raised pretty much by myself and I take responsibility for the choices that I made and give but i at the same time, motherhood is very important to me. Mm-hmm. I want my children to have everything I didn't have. And through God's grace, my daughter is a graduate mm-hmm. from Syracuse University. Yes. Um, she has her master's degree. Mm-hmm. And my son is in his second year at Morgan State University. Mm-hmm. And it's just such a blessing because although the father may or may not have been there, mm-hmm. Um, I know that these are my babies, yes. and I want them to go places that I've never been. I, I'm not a college graduate, but I want it more for them. Mm-hmm. And I want to encourage single mothers to, we have to understand that we have to take responsibility. We mm-hmm. did it our way. It wasn't according to the Bible, but these are our babies. We have a responsibility. We need to make sure that, that our story is not their story so that we can break the cycle, whatever your story may have been. Mm-hmm. And I just want them to understand that Walk with your head up, baby. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, mm-hmm. it happened, let it go. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? This is a lot of the stuff in mistaken identity I is is a lot of it is my story. Mm-hmm. And um I needed to go within so that I could finally let it go because for so many years it was so many questions about who mm-hmm. and where and what, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm so thankful that God has allowed me this platform. So for those that didn't know, now you know. Mm-hmm. This is how it went. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is this is from the words yes, from yes, me. Yes. You know what I mean? So yes. if you don't know, now you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that it it, it, it it released me mm-hmm. and 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 I felt so free that I finally was able to say you know what this is who I am mm-hmm. it's done it's mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. next you know what mm-hmm. I mean and through the process of mistaken identity I have really been reinvented mm-hmm. I have reinvented myself mm-hmm. you know I have evolved as a result of all that I've gone through these last 30 years mm-hmm. and um and I'm okay with me that's a good place to be yes Yes. now that's my sister yes (laughs) and so let's back up let's back up because uh in this journey and it's been a journey uh you started with that first book and i'll never forget that and we have the cover of that one that motherhood motherhood 
what you don't know. So uh, let's talk a little bit about, you know, what prompted you to write that story. Um, and it was, a, all of her books are excellent. They all come out with a message. And I want to encourage you uh, to go to her website. What's the website, sis? Uh, www.melindarobertson.com. Okay. So go to the website. You can see the book. We have that, um, that book cover, uh, Motherhood, What You uh, Don't Know. Can you put that up for me? And so talk about um, what went into that. Well, I was a teen, I was a uh, teen mother, mm -hmm. so I've all, 